A fun project here. This is a freight car uh, for G scale. Let's have a look at the control system. This is what will go inside the freight car. We've got a test motor here. It's been controlled by a TX20 and that's the speaker. But the central core of the system is this small pallet. The actual pallet itself is made up of a number of components. The battery of course starts here and then it goes through a switch frame with the on-off switch, a light and a charging socket which is also fused. On top of the battery is the receiver that receives the signal from the TX20. The information from this goes down to the speed controller here and the speed controller also provides the power for the sound unit and this is the small diesel engine sound unit. Down underneath there is a two-way switcher that turns the engine on and off and also blows the horn. Let me demonstrate this for you now. First we turn on the transmitter and the little red button shows on the front. Next we turn on the module. And you can see for the little motor here that if I turn up the regulator it whizzes around. This is just a little test motor. On the transmitter, there's an engine start button. And the chorus of horn. If we now turn the volume up, the little motor goes. And the revs increase. And there we are coming to a halt. And we can turn the engine off. It's a lovely little recorded sequence. Right, well let's put this module into there. This is the little speaker unit and that's going to go in first. Some holes have been drilled in the floor and the speaker unit is secured with two screws. There we go. On the rear bogey of the freight car is a bogey motor and it has the same wheel set, the same Buckman wheel set as the bogey and we have to drill a hole in the bottom of the uh, freight car so that the bogey motor can fit in place and this is what is going to power the freight car. At the other end is a simple Bachmann bogey and it's simply mounted on the bottom end of an old car and just stuck on to the front of the cabin. Very simple. All that remains now is to fit the module inside the vehicle. You notice that the speaker is plugged into the sound card and of course the speed controller is plugged into the bogey motor which is uh, up there. All my systems work with these plug and plays. It's very simple, if anything goes wrong you just unplug the defective part. OK, time to put the module and mount it on the floor inside the wagon. Just slide it into place. That's where it's going to live. Secure it with a screwdriver. And there we have the module in place, ready for taking outside and testing. So here we are outside. The first thing we've got to do is turn on the transmitter. And in this case it's a TX20. Then we turn on the actual locomotive itself, if you call this a locomotive, I don't know. And there it is in the side. <laughs> and we can start the engine by pressing button number one. That really is a gorgeous little sound. And now we blow the horn, and by turning the regulator knob, it moves forward.
Oh no, the engine stops. Well, it doesn't get much better than that. <laughs>